Hi, hello, good evening. Regarding this X-ray, what is the X-ray and what is the diagnosis? This kind of X-ray you might get as a spotter in your examination. Before going into the diagnosis, we will see what is this modality, why it is used. First of all, the modality name is intravenous pilography. It is also called as intravenous urography or excretory urogram. It is basically nothing but a X-ray of the kidney, ureter and bladder section. Why it is called as pilography or intravenous urography? Since we are going to use a contrast and see the excretory pathway of the contrast by which the anatomical area can be delineated by the contrast with which you can make the diagnosis this investigation modality is losing its value because of the advent of the contrast enhanced CT or the contrast enhanced MRI. To know the basic details, we will start with this film. The film might be containing these kind of six sections. What are the, these six sections? Basically, if we take the technique, it consists of taking a serial x-ray after giving the IV contrast. Initially, the baseline film or the plain film, it is nothing but a plain x-ray at the beginning so that we can see any renal stone is there or not. During this time, there won't be any contrast which might have reached the kidney. So the second film is taken after approximately 2 to 3 minutes which is called the nephrogenic phase. During this time, the, uh, the contrast might have reached the kidney. The kidney might have been enhancing. You can see the enhancement of the kidney. And from 5 to 15 minutes, the next extra will be taken. During this time, the pelvic allicyl system, which is the pilography, hence the name, intravenous pilography is given. The contrast will be reaching here where you can see the anatomical landmarks like major calyx, minor calyx, if there is any cyst, if there is any non-passage of contrast, you can see. And then 15 to 20 minutes, you can see the ureter. Then finally, you can see the bladder after approximately around 20 to 25 minutes. At the end, you have to ask the patient to void and look for any residual urine in the bladder. So these kind of serial x-rays are being taken at a particular interval. Since it is a x-ray, only you will get a two-dimensional image. So that is why it is important to take oblique views also to see the location of the contrast abnormalities, whether it is anterior or posterior. So by which you can make an approximation of the diagnosis that you are suspecting. Post while residual urine, if it is present, can be seen. It all depends on the timing at what time we are taking the x ray, whether the point patient voided the urine fully or not. So, this is all regarding intravenous pilography or intravenous urography, also called as excretory urography. So, you have to assess the film from first one, which is the plain film, two minute film, five minute film. Then 15 20 minutes film prone oblique films might be given in a single image and the full bladder, which is the final image, based on which you can make the diagnosis. So, in this film, intravenous pilography, what could be the abnormality? As you see here in the plain image, there are some stones present over here. In the nephrogenic phase, only the contrast is seen on the left kidney, it is not on the right kidney. As we come here, the excretory film you are able to see only of the left kidney. The right kidney is not excreting any contrast. So there is some gross abnormality in the uh, right kidney. So right kidney might be not functional. But this investigation is not confirmatory. You have to confirm it with a DTPA scan. Or better modality to find out the exact location or why the contrast is not being taken. This and all you have to go with further investigation modality. That is why it is a preliminary baseline investigation. Many centers are not using it nowadays. But for the exam point of view, you have to be aware of the phases or you have to be aware of the 
timing with which it is taken and what are all the uh, diagnosis that you can make.